five five three eight seven. Five digits that connect the small Minnesota town of Waconia to the world. George, one man that brings the world to your doorstep each and every day. He is not a chef that works in Chinatown, nor a professor teaching world geography. He is a postman. Yes, but not just a postman. He's the one that delivers anything from a sweet written letter to a coconut from Hawaii to your doorstep. Unbeknown to most people, is the hard work and dedication of the postal service workers. Six a.m. The mail truck arrives with the mail that was processed the night before from Minneapolis headquarters. George's co-workers, the clerks, meet the truck and start the daily processing of mail. This process involves unloading the mail off the truck and sorting the parcels into the appropriate mail routes. Mail volume fluctuates during the week. Mondays are heavy volume days where we have lots of mail. Uh, obviously the seasons um, make a difference. Seven a.m. Enter George and his fellow carriers. They settle into their work areas to begin sorting over three thousand pieces of mail into the appropriate pigeonhole. It usually takes me anywhere from a couple hours to three hours, depending on the mail volume, to put the mail up. Each box represents each house they will deliver to, even yours. We try to get the mail delivered at, at kind of the same time every day, and that can be very difficult because the mail volume fluctuates greatly. Once the mail has been sorted, the carriers pull it down and group it by each section of their route. 10 a.m. Time for George to shine. The mail leaves the comfort of the post office and is loaded into the jeeps. From here, the carriers hit the road en route. Most carriers make between 500 and 600 deliveries per day. Bag that they're carrying, you know, can be up to 30 pounds, and、uh, it's hard work. You know, in those days where the wind is blowing 40 miles an hour and it's 30 below, it gets to be a long, hard day. Walking routes can average between 10 and 12 miles a day. Five p.m., the end of the workday. George and the other carriers arrive back at the post office, done with another day. 
At the same time, everyone else is returning home from their day at work to find their mailbox filled with various treasures. A letter from grandma, the latest shopping ad, or life-changing news. A postman's job may seem simple, but it's no walk in the park, literally. They work hard to get things done. No matter what the weather is, they make sure that you get your packages and letters. The work is physically and mentally strenuous, challenging one's memory and speed. So the next time you see George, or any other postal worker, show your appreciation. Give him a smile, say hi, give him a hug, maybe a cookie, but even a simple wave would do.